everybody, welcome to another episode of Walkthrough Wednesday. Of course, it's our weekly shop tour, interactive shop tour that airs right here every Wednesday on our YouTube channel and now on our Facebook page as well. So either way, whether you're following us on Facebook or on YouTube, you'll see our Walkthrough Wednesday videos. Uh, starting this week here at Tony Fabrication Table, you can see I've got a Magnaflow muffler that's getting ready to go in our 89 Jimmy project. What we do is uh, we've got mandrel bins. So we just take sections of mandrel bins and we cut the stuff apart and then we go back and weld it to make a, a real precise fit. Mm -hmm. That way with the, the mandrel bins, we got a real smooth flow for your the gases that come out. Does the mandrel bins all drink as much? No. The mandrel bins, they keep their thing the same ID and OD all the way through. So it makes a real nice exhaust, real clean. With yeah. stainless, no rust forever. So you expanded it out down, down here, right? Yes, we expanded it out there just where it will fit up and there's no no gaskets or nothing. It goes metal to metal. Okay. It tightens up at, at the leak-free uh, joint at that point. So basically we get our mufflers in for Magnaflow. Yep. You figure out where they want to be and then you just run piping to them and out yep. of them yep. where, they, where it needs to go. We talk to customers, see where they want to drop them out at and we make them come out where they say that's where they get them. Awesome. Thank you, Tony. You bet. So, you see, Tony and I are talking about the uh, the process that goes into putting together a custom exhaust for one of these projects. So we're working very closely with the owner of our 89 Jimmy. What kind of exhaust do you want? What kind of sound do you want? And where do you want it to exit? So all those factors come into play. And then once Tony knows that, he'll get all his measurements up there, uh, test fit it, weld it up, and he'll have a full custom Petty's Garage exhaust with some nice Magnaflow mufflers coming out of those Cook's long tube headers. I think last week we showed you guys the... Uh, custom headers in progress. We have one side done, one side waiting for a couple pipes. So Tony finished both of those up. We've got the inner wheel tubs in. We'll come around this way. Hold on, hold what you're putting in real quick. Power steering reservoir. Hold putting in the power steering reservoir or small time capsule, whichever yeah. you want to call it. That's what it looks like. <laughs> yeah. Mock it up at the moment. What kind of power steering has it got, Halt? It's an electronic unit we're putting on. Electronic power steering in an 89 Jimmy. So, Right here. See, last week we could look right through and see the custom headers. We've got the uh, inner wheel tubs back in. They've been coated, so they're they're nice and uh, durable there with that kind of rock-proof coating we've got on there. See, Brian's about finished up his trans tunnel, so it's all painted nice. Shifters in, looks really good. Well, I think he's working around back. Tail lights getting wired up. We've got the tailgate all fit, nice and ready to go. So Jimmy's coming along. We'll be uh, hitting the home stretch here pretty soon. Just wanted to provide a little project update on that. What else we got over here? Okay. Well, what we're doing here is we've got a PG2 Challenger build that just started. We picked this car up on Friday, so this is a brand new project for the shop. This would be serial number 003. Uh, for 2018 and our brand new Challenger production program. You see Big has already got the deck lid, the rear fascia, uh, side skirts are up going to paint. You can see we've got our Edelbrock 2650 E4 supercharger there in place, getting buttoned up. So this will be about 700 crank horsepower. We've talked about our PG2 series. Uh, this is actually the first B5 blue one we've done. Awesome color, it's gonna get a black uh, black stripe over the tail. So while I've got Chris here with oh, me, I wanna talk <laughs> just real quick, we've, we're putting together uh, some installation videos. So we're actually gonna be using this PG2 car to show you guys how to install our front strut tower brakes. Right. Pretty simple install, but uh, uh, we had a lot of questions about that. A lot of people want to see us doing our install videos. So that's the next thing on the agenda. I can't wait to bring it to you guys, so stay tuned for that. Thank you, Chris. Oh, no problem. So, Murph just rolled up in this 66 Chevy 2 Nova. Uh, we did not build this car. This, this came in as a customer that wanted uh, some custom tuning done. So that's, that's become a much bigger part of our business is just folks coming in that the cars aren't running right, so they'll bring it to us. We'll strap it to the dyno and do a little custom tuning. Let's see what's under the hood. That's a good idea, but we'll keep figuring out how to do it. <laughs> oh, there you go. Let's They actually drive this car because you can see all the bugs just in the front of it up there. <laughs> they enjoy it. That's what we like to see. 
Remember everybody, drive your stuff. Drive your stuff, don't just let it sit. So, really nice 66 Nova. Got an ACS2 LS motor in it with a five speed. And we've got it running right, ready to go back to the customer. Moving on from the Nova, next car we're gonna talk about a little bit is our friend Reed's 2009 Challenger SRT. Uh, just looking at this car on the surface, you would think, oh, it's pretty normal, 2009 SRT Challenger. Looks completely stuck, but we're gonna pop the hood and show you that there's more to be seen with this one. I think that would qualify as a sleeper type build. Uh, what we've got under the hood here is our Petty's Garage 426 Hemi. And all that comes with that, you can see all of the specs on our website of what you get with a 426 Hemi. This is a 6.1 based 426 Hemi, so if you have a 6.1 you'd like to build it, or if you have a project that you'd like a 6.1 426 in, just give us a call and we can set you up with either one. Uh, on top of the 426, we've got a 2.9 liter Whipple supercharger, so this thing makes north of 800 horsepower easy. Pull up next to it with the stoplight, would not know is really cool uh, this customer actually owns the thousand horsepower twin turbo silver mustang that we uh, did a feature friday on a couple weeks ago so he's actually got two petty's garage sleeper builds really cool all right be able to guess that there's a little bit more than just the stock Hemi under the hood there <laughs> once you hear that but really nasty sounding car awesome build and just want to show you guys this is actually our featured build of the week so tell us what you think you can see in the booth here we've got our friend Kevin spraying all of the lower cladding pieces this looks for uh, 2018 Mustangs production cars and I think he's getting them prepped for color matching, if I'm not mistaken. We can check in with him in a second and see. Kevin, yes. give us a quick rundown of what you're doing right now. Right now all I'm doing is I'm spraying an adhesive promoter on the cladding for Mustang, a couple Mustangs, and also a front splitter for a channel. Okay, so that's the stuff that'll make the paint stick. To the plastic, yeah, right. and then I'll put some primer on it. We'll sand that primer and then we'll paint it later on this week. Okay, awesome. So yeah, what, what Kevin's saying is when he's getting the plastic cladding pieces ready for primer, and then they'll go to paint. So that's the extra step we take to make sure the paint doesn't fall off on the right car. Yeah. All right. So, and you see, we paint everything off the car. We do not tape it up and put the car in there. The entire cladding is painted and, and prepped and everything separate from the car, then it'll go back on the road. What color are you mixing, Kevin? We are mixing, um, the RMP26, that's the power fill primer, so we can prime the, uh, the cladding. Cool damn. It's for the cladding pieces that him and Brian Lane just talked about momentarily. Correct. Makes it a four to one to one. What are we doing to it? Are we body working the whole thing? Body working body. Where'd it come from? Any idea? It's cool. It means cool. But I can't really talk about it if I don't have a story. This is the vehicle in question. Behind me, we have a NASCAR truck series body on the frame. I don't know if there's an engine in there. To be honest with you, I don't really know the story on this truck at all. Uh, I know that it appeared here in the body shop, and I have been told that we are going to body work it, and we're going to paint it. I'm not sure who brought it in, and I don't know where it's going after here. So, I figured this would be a fun time for you guys to tell us in the comments below, what is the story on this truck? You can make it up, you can take your best guess, tell us what it's, where it's headed and what it's gonna be used for afterwards. Best story gets a free t-shirt, so make sure you comment below, be creative, I can't wait to read it. Wanted to take a quick minute and talk a little bit about this Jeep JK we've got here. As you can see, it's got a stock 3.6 V6 in there with an Edelbrock E4 supercharger. And I wanted to talk about this because 
this supercharger is actually one of Edelbrock's top selling products. They sell so many of these superchargers because one of the biggest problems with the JK Jeeps and all Wranglers in general really is that they come underpowered from the factory. People love Jeeps because they're great off-road, they're rugged, they look cool, but they get in them, they drive them, they're like, man, this thing needs some more power. So this is a fairly inexpensive way of doing it, not a big cost associated with putting a supercharger on your stock motor. Uh, Dakota, you've probably done a few of these, haven't you? I've done a bunch of them. Yeah. So this is actually one of our most popular upgrades that we do here at Petty's Garage Total. We've used a lot of these that'll run superchargers. So if you have a JK Wrangler and you want a little bit more power, give us a call. This is the way to go. You're getting about 400 crank horsepower uh, when it's all said and done. Which is, I don't even know how much. It, it really makes it a lot more drivable if you put big wheels and tires on it. Right. Oh, yeah. Not just killing the motor. Yeah, exactly. Y'all see the difference in a man's hands and a boy's hands? <laughs> <laughs> what are you working on, bitch? Oh, we got another 18 Mustang here. Uh, Suspension mods, a little bit of lower kit, lower spring, um, big axles in the back so it handled the fourth power we're going to add to it. Um, this is a King Premier Mustang? King Premier Mustang, yes. Uh, painted car. I don't think we've seen the axles. Show us the axles. Basically, we take these little wimpy Ford axles out here and we put these uh, branded Pity axles in here. Uh, Made by our friends. G-Force. G-Force Engineering, yep. Uh, so now we'll be able to handle the extra horsepower we're going to add to it. So uh, what makes these so much better than these? Well, I mean, this has got a little bit heavier CV joint in it, uh, a little bit heavier shaft. Um, a little bit more hardened uh, drives here, so I mean, it, it's considerably bigger piece. Right, because yeah. this is a weak point when you put a lot of horsepower to Exactly, yeah. when, you know, because you're going to be burning burning the rear tires off of it, you know. Yeah. Uh, that's a lot of hammering on those things. So, right. Um, just a little bit deeper stuff there. And just so, just so you guys know, the Petty's Garage by G-Force axles are available at pettys-garage.com. You can buy those and put them right in your S550 Mustang, so it's something we offer there. Or we can put them in. Even better. <laughs> and by we, we mean Mitch. Mitch, yeah. Not, not Bradley. No. Mitch. Not Bradley. Once again. <laughs> I didn't get a sway bar. We have a bigger sway bar package we can actually have. Yeah. Adjustable, bigger sway bar for front and rear. Uh, this one does not get a shifter. It does get all exhaust. Here's the active exhaust hanging down here. We can accommodate your active exhaust. Yeah. Basically, what we're trying to say is that we make pretty much everything to go underneath these 2015 and up Mustangs from your axles, sway bars, pullovers, lowering kits, exhaust, you, you know, compensating with the active exhaust on these new 18s uh, and 19s up. So pretty much anything that you might want for your S550 Mustang up underneath here, we got you covered. And we got the guys that can do it. Not me, this guy. So to recap, if you're hanging out with us, you saw we started off uh, checking out Tony building a custom exhaust for our 89 Jimmy project. Moved on and looked at a PG2 Challenger in the work. A uh, 66 Nova we've been tuning on. Went up to the body shop, saw the guys prepping the parts for paint. Uh, came back down at the OEM, hung out with Mitch and Dakota and saw uh, JK getting a supercharger on. We saw a Mustang getting um, axles and lowering springs and all of our suspension goodies. And uh, now we're back down here in the main shop. We're going to close out things today. Thanks everybody for watching as always. Uh, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Petty's Garage. And subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss these videos every week. Thanks, guys. We'll be back next week.